Hello everyone and welcome back to Studio IL. Today I want to show you how I created uh, this footer reveal effect. So I used um, a template from Wix Studio Templates. I used this photographer one. Um, and the default behavior of this footer is kind of static, right? So as I scroll down, I see uh, it shows the um, the footer but we want to create this effect that the footer is come uh, behind the page uh, the section behind the sections all right so this is the editor uh, as I said before I just click edit and use this template and immediately I moved into this project page which is uh, a dynamic page uh, yeah no actually no, this is uh, uh, based on portfolio. So this is the portfolio pages. All right, so this is the design that you will see if you use same template. So what the first thing we need to do is to select the footer and make it sticky. So let's go to position and make it sticky. The default is sticky to bottom. This is great. So let's publish it and see what's what we have. All right, so let's refresh it. So this is not what we want to achieve, right? We win, we need this footer to be behind the page content. So the second thing that we need to do is super simple. We need to uh, active dev mode just from here you can have turn on and off coding and then open to global CSS if you don't have global CSS you have you will have here a plus icon to create to create one so click global CSS and then we'll do something super super simple so in practice what's happened is that footer is its Z index it's bigger than the other sections so we can override it by adding section z-index 52 so how do I came up with this number so if you go to uh, inspect mode and select the footer you will see somewhere here that z-index is 50 okay so we can do 51 and it's very important to be uh, precise and not do like a huge number here because it, it can affect other elements uh, inside our website so let's publish it but before I'll do it I will remove some uh, editing that I, that I have did so basically I selected this section and now this section is transparent okay so let's publish it And on the live site, now we can see that, wait, this is the section, it should be transparent. So now on the live site, let's see what we are getting. So as you can see, the footer is behind this section, but because this section is transparent, you can see everything behind it, right? So the second thing that we need to do is to add background color to, um, to the section. So it will cover the footer behind it. So now we will publish it and let's see the results. So now it's behaving exactly as we, as we want and we are we are getting this footer reveal effect super super easy basically that's it this is the tutorial but there is four things that you must know first of all the height of the footer cannot be higher than the height of the screen so let's understand why for example if I'll take this footer and give him a random number, like a big one, like 2000 pixels, 
okay something like this let's see what's happened on the live site Alright, so what's happened exactly is behind this section we have the footer which is stick to the bottom of the screen. As long as we scroll down it's always there, it's always stick to the bottom. And then what's happened is that we see only the, um, the bottom part of, of uh, the footer. Everything else is outside of the screen from top. This is why we cannot see the content. So this is rule number one. Let's undo it. Rule number two, all sections must have solid background color without transparency. This is, I showed you why, because you can actually see the footer as you scroll down, you can see the footer behind uh, and you don't want it. The third rule is you cannot, set, you cannot have section that is sticky. So basically, if you ha will have section that is sticky and the footer is sticky, as you'll remember, we changed the Z index so that the section will be higher than the footer. Okay, so you can see a very good example. Uh, if we we'll go to the home page, so in the home page, let's go right here. This is the home page. In the home in the home page, by default, this is like from the template. These sections are sticky, as you can see. So it's sticky and because I did the footer st also sticky, so you will get something like this, like you see this section above our footer. So this is rule number two, you cannot have a page with a section that is sticky. You can, if, if you want to create some sticky effect within your page, there is a multiple way to do it without to apply it on the section is itself. For example, you can have like a long section with grid of three rows for each image and then make the images sticky within its own section and not to create the entire section sticky. This is rule number three. Rule number four, you cannot have sticky header, only pinned. Same, is same issue, the Z index issue. Um, so if if you don't want the header to follow you as you scroll down to the site uh, so you don't have a problem but if you do want it to to stick to the top and scroll down with you so you cannot use sticky you need to use pint right um, basically when you set the header to be pinned the z index is changed and is above everything all right, so that's it. This is how you can create the footer reveal effect. Uh, let me know if it's ha it's working for you. And until next time, keep building amazing websites on Week Studio.